Hey guys and girls, I'm James and welcome to my channel. Well, here she is, the DGI FPV. And what a bird she is. Guys, this thing changes everything. Um, if you watch my previous videos, you saw that I bought a bunch of analog stuff and I couldn't get it figured out. I couldn't figure out how to tune the radios and go to bed, bed of flight and charge the batteries and do all that kind of stuff. I got really frustrated because I knew this was coming out. Uh, today's March 10th, I bought it, ordered it on the 2nd, got it on the 6th, got home late, uh, put everything together thinking I'd get home on church on Sunday and go fly it and push a button. Well, that didn't happen. And I've also realized it didn't happen for a lot of y'all also. And I've read online a bunch of people are even returning these because they can't get the firmware to update or they can't get it, uh, everything to bind together. So let's go over a few things that we need to do that. But before we even get started with that is let me give you a tip. Charge your batteries. You gotta get these things charged up. They say it's gonna take eight to 10 minutes for it to update. No, it takes like 40 minutes. And what happened to me, it was I was on the online chat with DJI and working all this and everything was updating. It got to like 96% and my battery went dead in my remote and in my, in my goggles. And I had to stop, charge batteries, start all over again. And so tip number one that I'm gonna tell you is go charge your batteries before you can get started. If you don't have it, then as soon as you get them, charge them. Tip number two is uh, you're gonna have to update all this firmware through the DJI Fly app. And you're probably saying, why do you have to update the firmware? When you get it, it should be ready to fly. Well, DJI is a billion dollar company and they're gonna make hundreds of thousands of these. And by the time they shift them all out, there's new things they wanna do to them. So they have to update the firmware. Matter of fact, the second time I flew it, um, it wanted to update the firmware for the batteries. So you need to update it through the DJI Fly app. Well, I couldn't get my DJI Fly app to work. So I got to the online chat and they told me, just delete it, start over. So I deleted it, started over, and that, that really worked. I had a couple more issues that we'll get into, but, um, and I have Apple. So if you have the Android, do you realize that you can't update it in the Play Store? You need to go to the DJI website and download the version 1.3 or higher to be able to update your firmware. And also they say everything is supposed to be linked together once you update your firmware. Well, mine wasn't. Uh, if you remember on the old Phantom 4, you had to put, isn't it funny? I call this the old Phantom 4. This thing is still incredible. Uh, the V2 Pro, uh, you gotta push this button and I'll show it to you here. Um, and you gotta push it in. And it's not like you gotta hold it five seconds like you do when you're trying to do everything else. You just touch it with a small Allen wrench and you get it to release. It's kind of like when I'm flying my, um, and doing my roofing inspections between, I switch between my uh, dual enterprise and the zoom, and I'm using my smart controller that I have to uh, open this little cavity and push this little button right here. That's the same thing and it gives it to link. Well, that's what you're trying to do to these goggles if it doesn't link together. You've got to push that button, it'll start beeping, and then you hold down on the button on this for five seconds and hold down the button on this for five seconds and then it's linked and then you can start updating your firmware so don't lose your uh, otg usb connector i lost mine <laughs> so here it is don't lose your um, otg to usb connector that's what this comes with if you lose this thing you're not going to go flying so what this does is um, you're going to put your power cord in on this side that hooks up to your battery to turn on your goggles and then you hook it into the to the C connector and then you're going to use this to connect to your phone, right? And this is with Apple. Well, make sure it's a data cable. If you've got an older cable and it's just a charging cable, that ain't going to work. Make sure, number one, it's a data cable. And then this is going to plug into your phone and to plug into the DJI Fly app. Uh, to get everything started and what you're looking for is this thing right above the connect see the little red dot that's what you're going to push to get everything to start updating so when you push it and you you hold down on the button on this for five seconds this for five seconds this and you get everything and it start to link together it's going to turn on and off four or five times it's going to freak you out thinking it's not working but it's working it's just going through the process of updating all the firmware and honestly, ever since that's happened, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. So my last video I made was my first flight and um, I had actually had about nine flights on this. Now I've got about 30 or 40 
Guys, this thing's amazing. I'm really getting comfortable with the peripheral vision that I have of flying through trees and uh, following creek beds and going down rivers and just doing things that I've always seen on TV thinking, I wish I could be one of those guys. I'm 58 years old. I'm having a blast. Guys, I got a lot of drones and I'm fixing to have a lot of drones for sale because I want another one of these to have as a backup where I can really start pushing the limits on this or my son can come over and we can start flying them together. Uh, they don't even sell the arms yet and I'm using these arm braces. So I want to use these to uh, start a milk delivery company and I'm going to call it Dairy Air. My wife said don't name it that or everybody, you'll be the butt of a joke, but I just told her that my success is going to uh, depend upon the happiness of other people. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks so much for watching hope you got something out of it if you did please like and subscribe i've got some really good videos coming out on the next one i'm going to show how to use the hand controller and then i'm going to do a video of after i've been flying about 100 flights if you look right here i did catch a tree but it just broke the branch off and brought it home with it and it held up really really well i'll see you in the next one catch the gimbal. It's not too bad. Didn't scratch it. And that's it after hitting a tree. <laughs>